assalamu alaikum how are you my dear students hope all you are well by the grace of almighty allah i am also fine welcome to nibs home school this is amiruddin assistant teacher of mathematics morning shift national area of english version school dear students today i am going to take a math class for the students of class 9 our today's topic is assignment for dear students today's topic is mathematics assignment 4 and this is lecture number 13 okay dear the students now let us start our today's class at first i will wait the question of the assignment here in the stem it is written that if the length and width of a wooden box is 30 cm and 60 16 cm the length and width of a wooden box is 30 cm and 16 cm respectively solve the following problems first number question is construct an equilateral triangle whose perimeter is equal to 1 by 3 of the length of the wooden box dear the students here the length of the wooden box is 30 cm and its one third will be 10 cm that means uh, perimeter of the equilateral triangle will be 10 cm we have to we have to draw the triangle and you know that uh, equilateral triangle means all of the side will be equal that means all sides length will be 10 by 3 cm now we will draw the triangle dear the students here in the bracket it is written that construction is must that means we have to we have to draw the figure only need not to write the description here given that length of the wooden box is 30 cm since perimeter of the equilateral triangle is equal to 1/3 of the length of the wooden box therefore perimeter equal to 1 by 3 multiplication 30 and we can cut 30 by 3 then it will be 10 that means perimeter will be 10 cm dear students using a scale i have already drawn a line segments which length is 10 cm now at first we will divide this line segment into three equal parts how can we divide this line segment into three equal parts okay at first we will draw this line segment then we will divide this line segment into three equal parts the length of the line segment is 10 cm so using a scale at first i am drawing a line segment which length is 10 cm okay this is the line segment which length is 10 cm now i will divide this line segment into three equal parts at first at the upper portion of this line segment i will draw a an angle okay i have drawn an angle in the upper side of this line segment now in the lower side of this line segment i will also draw a, an angle which measurement will be the equal of this angle you know and you have learned in class 6 how can copy a an angle
ओके डियर द स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज अ लाइन सेगमेंट ऑफ 10 सेंटीमीटर एंड इन द अपर साइड ऑफ दिस लाइन सेगमेंट आई हैव ड्रॉन ए एंगल व्हिच एंड इन द लोअर साइड ऑफ दिस लाइन सेगमेंट आल्सो आई हैव ड्रॉन अनदर एंगल एंड दिस टू एंगल्स मेजरमेंट इज इक्वल नाउ कंसीडर दिस पॉइंट एज सेंटर एंड टेकिंग एनी रेडियस taking any radius and considering this point as center at first i am drawing an arc here now keeping this radius fixed and considering this point as center i will draw another arc here and taking this radius fixed considering this point as center i will draw one arc here now considering this point as center i will draw another arc here now i will join this point with this point and this point with this point Okay, dear the students. Now this line segment divided into three equal parts. These parts, these parts, and these parts are equal. That means this part will be phi by three centimeter. This also will be phi by three centimeter, and this also will be phi by three centimeter. Phi by three, phi by three, and it's also phi by three. And now we have to draw an equilateral triangle, which each side will be phi by 3 cm okay at first we will draw any ray which name is b c sorry its name is d e we have drawn any ray which name is d e now taking the radius of phi by 3 that means we will take a radius which length will be phi by 3 considering bs center we will draw an arc here and the name of this point is c now keeping same radius in the upper side of bc we will draw one arc and considering cs center and keeping same radius we will draw another arc on the upper side of bc and these two arc consider we will consider these two arc intersect as the point a that means this point name is a now we'll join ab and ac Three by three, three by three, and three by three. Dear the students, now A B C is our required triangle, which each side is three by three centimeter. If we add this three by three, this three by three, and this three by three, then total length will be P. That means ten centimeter. that means these triangles perimeter will be 10 cm which is the one third of the length of wooden box dear the students 
in the question it is said that construction is must so that you need not to write description here we have already solved question number one now we'll solve question number two here question number two is construct a right angled triangle whose hypotenuse is equal to one sixth of the length of wooden box and base is equal to one fourth of the width of wooden box dear students length of the wooden box is 30 centimeter and width of the wooden box is 16 centimeter so one sixth of length will be one sixth of 30 that means 5 centimeter and one fourth of 40 means one fourth of 14 means 4 centimeter that means uh, right uh, hypotenuse of right angle length of the hypotenuse of right angle triangle will be 5 centimeter and bay, length of the base of the right angle triangle will be 4 centimeter now we will draw the right angle triangle here construction is must that means we need not to write description just we will draw the figure ok dear the students here we will draw the right angle triangle length of the wooden box is 30 centimeter and width of the wooden box is 16 centimeter therefore hypotenuse of the right angle triangle equal to 1 by 6 multiplication 30 that means this will be if we cut 30 by 6 then 6 pipes are 30 that means it will be 5 centimeter and the base of the right angle triangle will be 1 fourth of 16 because width is 16 centimeter if we cut 16 by 4 then 4 fourths are 16 so that 6 will be 4 centimeter dear st students considering these 5 centimeter as hypotenuse and this 4 centimeter as base now we will draw a right angle triangle At first, we will draw a ray which name is B E. Now we will cut a line segment from B E which name will be B C and the length of uh, this line segment will be equal to the base A equal to 4 cm. That means we will take a radius which length will be equal to A that means 4 cm. At first using a scale I have drawn this 4 cm line segment. Okay. Now considering b as center we will draw an arc here and the name of this point is c dear students we have already got the base of the triangle and the name of the base is bc since the triangle is a right angle triangle now at the point B now we will draw a right angle that means we will draw a perpendicular at the point B. The name of the by perpendicular is B T. Now 
Now here we have to draw the hypotenuse. Here length of the hypotenuse is B equal to 5 centimeters. So at first we will take a radius which length will be 5 centimeters. Okay, we have taken the radius which length is 5 cm. Now, considering CS center, we will draw an arc on perpendicular. And the point of this is A. We will consider this point is A. Now, if we join A and C, then we will get our desired right angle triangle. Dear the students, A, B, C is our desired right angle triangle which base B, C equal to A equal to 4 cm and which hypotenuse is A, C equal to B equal to 5 cm. Dear the students, we have solved two number. Now we will solve three number. At first, we will read the question. Three number question is uh, construct a square whose each side's length is equal to one fourth of the width of the wooden box and construction is must. That means only we have to draw the square and each side of the square will be one fourth of the width of the wooden box. Here width of the wooden box is 16 cm. So one fourth of 16 is equal to 4 cm. That means each side's length of the square will be 4 cm. Dear the students, given width of the wooden box is 16 cm, each side's length of the square is 1 by 4 of 16. If we cut 16 by 4, then 4 fourths are 16. That means 4 centimeters. Now we'll draw a square which all sides will be 4 centimeter. I have already drawn a line segment which length is 4 centimeter. Using a scale, I have drawn this line segment. Now I will draw the square. At first, I will draw a ray, which name is BE. Now, since each side's length will be four centimeters, so from BE, we will cut a line segment which name will be BC and which length will be A equal to 4 cm. That means at first we will take a radius which length will be is equal to A, that means 4 cm. I have already taken the radius. Now considering B as center, I will cut here. And then I have cut a point which name is C. Since in the square all angle will be 90 degree, that means right angle, so that at the point B now I will draw a perpendicular.
the name of the perpendicular is b f now from b f i will cut a line segment which length will be four centimeter because each side of the square will be four centimeter here length of bc is four centimeter so now i have got a new point and i will consider the name of this point is a now dear the students taking the radius of ab and considering as center i will draw an arc and keeping the same radius and considering cs center i will draw another arc suppose these two arc intersect each other at the point d now i will join the point a and d and the point c and d dear the students here a b c d is the required square which all sides is 4 cm 4 cm 4 cm and 4 cm okay dear the students we have finished three number now we will solve four number here the question is <coughs> if the length of two diagonals of a quadrilateral is equal to 1 by 5 one fifth of the length of wooden box and one fourth of the width of wooden box respectively construct the quadrilateral construction and description of construction are must dear the students in four number question you have to draw the figure and also have to write the description of drawing mm, in this class i will not given the description of drawing at the time of drawing i will say the description of doing drawing and you have to write the drawing okay now i will draw the figure here length of the diagonal will consider its name is d1 it will be 1 fifth of the length of wooden box wooden box says um, length is 30 cm so 1 by 5 multiplication 30 this is equal to 6 cm if we cut 30 by 5 then 5 6 of 30 again length of the another diagonal will consider its name is d2 and it will be 1/4 of the width of the wooden box and width of the wooden box is 16 cm if we cut 16 by 4 then 4 4 is 16 so that it will be 4 cm now the length of our two diagonal one diagonal's length is 6 cm and another diagonal's length is 4 cm dear students using a scale i have already drawn these two diagonal uh, one diagonal's length is 6 cm and another diagonal's length is 4 cm now we will draw the quadrilateral dear student before drawing quadrilateral at first we will find out the mid point of d2 that means we will divide this length into two equal parts for that considering this point as center and taking the radius of half of uh, greater than half of d2 in upper side we will draw an arc and in lower side also we will draw another arc and keeping same radius considering this point as center 
in upper side we will draw one arc and in lower side we will draw another arc now if we join these two point then we will get the meet point of D2 Dear the student, this is the middle point of D2. That means this part is 2 cm and this part also 2 cm. 2 cm, 2 cm. Now we will draw the quadrilateral. At first we will draw any way. The name of the ray is a E. Now taking the radius of D1 that means 6 cm. We will take a radius which length will be 6 cm. Considering CS center, now we will cut here and we will get a point which name is C. This is one arc, sorry, diagonal, diagonal D1, which length is 6 cm. Now we will draw the perpendicular bisector of AC. If we join these two points, then we will get the perpendicular bisector of AC. Okay, we have got the perpendicular, we have drawn the perpendicular bisector of AC and the name of this midpoint is O. We consider the name of this point is O. Now, taking the radius of half of D2, that means taking a radius which length will be 2 cm. And considering O as center, in upper side we will draw an arc. And in lower side also we draw another arc. The name of this point is D and the name of this point is B. Now we will join A with D, A with B, B with C and C with D. Okay, dear the students, now A, B, C, D is our required quadrilateral which one diagonal D1 equal to 6 cm and another diagonal DD. One diagonal D1 equal to AC equal to 6 cm and another diagonal D2 equal to BD equal to 4 cm. Dear the students, I hope you have understood. You have to draw the description in this in four number question. Because in the question it is said that construction and description of the construction are must. Okay, dear the students, do your assignment properly and submit as early as possible. Thank you very much for the watching the class. Allah Hafiz.